Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we are going to get start on uh, get start get started on another uh, league match or another uh, domestic competition match. We are going up against FC Haka, and honestly, I haven't really scouted them too much. But let's take a look here. I think let's. I'm pretty sure they're going to be they're going to be the better team. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose this match. Uh, not to be not to be too much. Yeah. And they got, they're just all around better players. Probably going to end up getting, uh, yeah, getting the better of us. But you know, you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, hopefully, we can go out there. It's, it is going to be a home match, so hopefully, we can get under them and get under their skin and kind of, you know, look, things look a little, a little even. We'll see. Like I said, and it's, you know, this guy, this guy seems to be scoring a shit ton of goals right here. Zeze and yeah. Anyway, um. We will, uh, we will go back. I did change um, a little bit of things. I put Hagblom back here just because um, we really just need a defender. Um, that's one thing I've kind of noticed lately, and I'll get into it here in a minute a little bit more. But this game is kind of, we're, we're kind of short of central defenders. So, um, you know, at least quality central defenders. So, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go take a look at that, you know, and, and we'll be... We'll, we'll or take a look at that. You know, really be on the lookout for new for new defenders and stuff like that. But I did put Hagelin back here. He's going to be a makeshift defender just because he's I'm trying to put our best players on the pitch to have as good a chance as possible against Haka, honestly. And that's really what I'm doing. I mean, we got depth at at the the um, defensive midfielder position. So, you know, we're going to go out there and, and do what we can. Um, so, like I said, then Hagelin... Well, pretty much being capped out, he's not, not really going to get much better. But, you know, he's still pretty good um, in relation to our other central defenders or any central defender that we have on our team. So, like I said, while his natural position is defensive midfielder up here, we have depth at that position. So we'll put Uwusu in there and and see how far it can get us. But anyhow, let's get go ahead and get into this. Oh, yeah, I do have uh, Ramasaho. He's, he's healthy now. So he's on our bench. Ooh, I don't think we'll need him for this match. I don't think we'll end up being able to swap anyone up front. Um, I have had the opportunity though lately to really, to really uh, mess with a lot of stuff on my uh, on my Galway file, and I'll tell you why here. It's because honestly, I've been getting hooked as fuck on this game. Oh my god, I seriously cannot. Like it, it happens to me. This really happens to me a lot. And we're gonna really go after their their um their guys here. And I'll tell you what I'm doing here in a minute. Um, I just I just get super hooked on this game. So I've been playing around with things. And one of the things that I've you know I've been playing against teams like you know Inter Milan and and um you know Real Madrid and stuff like that in the Champions League because that's where we are on my Galway file. And you know I was looking at I was looking at some stuff and just dicking around with some some things some of the, the tactics and stuff and i noticed one thing um that i've been doing if we really go out and attack the suppliers i mean this game is really one in midfield if we go out there and really go after these guys on the edge zeze has i've seen him scoring a lot of goals on the stat sheets and stuff like that so we're really going to go after these guys i've noticed that if i do that against cross like the whole front line you know the striker and the attacking midfielder and both you know wide midfielders it causes a lot of problems and people get loose since we've only got four guys back there i'm gonna let the guys in the middle and just do what they need to do to take care of mascara and moinen and, and really go after the guys in the edge and really try and pinch the corners and and, and stifle their supply of of crosses and creativity that seems to be where um where a lot of the game is won and lost uh i'm gonna tell them just go have some fun tonight and just relax Hopefully this works out pretty well. Um, like I said, the ooh man, the crowd's pretty loud. Holy shit, they are very loud, but should be all right. Anyhow, um, you know, uh, with with them really closing down these guys here on the corners. I mean, you, you see what we got. Rison is way out of fucking position. I don't know what the fuck he was doing there, but you know, the idea is ooh, ooh oh fuck you, Coppin and your catching of the ball and stuff but um 
like I said, hopefully, you know, I'm perfectly fine with conceding possession down here, but, you know, closing down these guys and tackling them hard and really going after them, which he's not really doing right now. He's kind of just letting him do his thing, and then, you know, things like that happen. You know, uh, hopefully closing them down will, will give us a chance. You know, I'd, in this match, I'm quite honestly perfectly content with, with a draw. Um, as I've said before, it's just about points. If you can just get points in every match good job staff still out like if you can just get points out of every match it puts you in a very good position in the long run i mean the season is a marathon not a sprint you know i mean especially in in, in football i mean it's it's a huge it, it really is i mean i know it sounds it sounds cliche but it really is you know i mean I can't tell you how many times I've started the season poorly, been on the bottom, you know, bottom half of the table, and then just had things, you know, just put together a good string of games and just let everything happen. Just take care of shit that happens on your end. Win your games, you know, get points out of your matches, and you know, recognize the matches that you're probably not going to get full points out of, and maximizing the ones that you are going to get. In other words, beating the teams you're supposed to beat, and. Um, like I said, early season, you're going to drop matches regardless and drop points. Everyone's going to, usually. <laughs> I mean, every once in a while, you will get that team that's just on a complete tear and just cannot lose a match. Um, and that's tough to deal with. I mean, there's not there's nothing you can really do about that. You just have to do your thing and, and take away and take away, take care of your matches. I mean, that's really, that's really what it's all about. So far, you know, play right now has been pretty even. Yes! Nice. Look at that crowd go nuts. Harala is going to be pretty good for us. Harala, I think, is going to be a big... is going to be a big part of our team this year. I really do, I think. I think I made a good signing with him and putting him over there. He just tends to be in good positions. And with the one to lead, you know, and you look at the shots and, and the possession and stuff, I mean, this is pretty good. You know, this is a good start. Good 15, 20 minutes into the game, you know. Obviously, we have to maintain this and, and not and not fall apart. And what's going to be key is putting in the right, getting the the right, um, you know, the the right uh, the right team talk. Oh, close them down. There you go, Gron Holm. That's my boy. You know, like I said, that's that's something that's really really important is is making sure we maintain this and, and going into the half too. I mean. It, and that's where feeling out your team kind of has to happen. You have to know when your your um your club is. Oh, that was a that was close. If Ryson had missed that, Mascara was gone. That was free run on goal because I don't think Hagblum would have caught up to him. Neither would have Wusu, but you know. And this, like I said, I mean, it's the first few matches are a huge feeling out process, and we might be this might actually be our. Our better team right here. Oh, a little bit. Ooh, never mind. I was gonna say I passed this late, but Jesus, hurrah! Making all sorts of good runs over there. But uh, you know, like I said it's 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 a work in progress, but it's things are looking good though right now. I mean, like I said, I we had we had that blip against Helsingborgs, and and that was just a terrible, terrible game. I mean, really, we were we were terrible. But. You know, a lot of it has to do with, like I said, the team talk. I mean, we gave the right team talk here, obviously, because we're going out there and we're playing, you know. Or, I mean, you know, it's pretty even and we're giving them a challenge and not just folding under the pressure. And, oh, what was that, Heightenen? Why are you way over there anyway? You know, and as long as we don't have a huge lapse, and like I said, I got I to gotta make sure that I do my job and, and do shit right here in, in, in the team talk. And considering the way things are going... You know, it's one of those things where I, th I think we need to be a little hard on them and expect a little bit more, because they've because we've been a pretty we've been a pretty uh, professional team so far up until this point. And I think if we you know make sure we tell them to not fuck it up here in the second half, I think we'll be all right. I think. I mean, we'll see here in about you know a couple minutes. That first half really flew by. Holy shit, that was one of the fastest first halves I've seen in a while. Let me, let me check this. Make sure it is on... Okay, it is on comprehensive. But I'm going to be, you know... Yeah, don't think the job is done. See, and that's what we wanted. Not as not as many, but, I, you know, in my honest opinion, I think if we had been here longer, like, you know, next year, if we were to give that team talk, all of these guys would have seemed to gain focus. But right now, some of them are unsure as to... 
you know, and, and don't have as I'm sure as to who we are as a coach and not quite sure if they like us yet, pretty much. that This first season, trying to motivate them is really, really tough. And honestly, you get something like this, you're like, fucking yeah! Now, of course, you know, the second half, it's going to be all up to how well the opposition plays. Now, if their coach gave the right team talk, you know, then then they're going to come out firing and just go, you know, guns blazing. And we're going to be under pressure for a good for a good amount of this second half. But, um, Volishin. Interesting name. But, um, also, uh, ooh, that was a good shot. Very good shot. I thought I was going in for a second. I didn't think Monsalve had that. And I'm going to go ahead and take that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cro cross him down, close him down. But see, that's something, too. If you've, if you've noticed, you know when you're not getting this right, when this guy, when you're, when you're, um, uh, oh my god, that was, mm, close. You know you're not getting the tactics right when your assistant coach is is blowing you up and making you make changes and mark certain players. At least that's how I feel about it. I mean, I to me, or I should say this, when he's not telling me that I need to go close down this guy, close down that guy, close down all these other guys, and shit like that, that to me, when I see that and I look at my team's performance, yeah, I, I see that they're playing pretty well and I see that, you know, Things were playing good defensively. We're not getting eaten up. And my God, Harala. Yes! Nice. Two goal lead. That's awesome. That may have broken the camel's back right there. That, that may be one of the CS through. That's fantastic. But anyhow, like I was saying, I mean, it's... It... it when, when you see... Like I said, when you see your assistant coach not say a whole lot, it, to me... Usually the team is playing pretty well, which means you made the right tactical choices. So I guess, like I said, you can kind of use that as a gauge to see whether or not you're getting shit right, getting closing down the right players. And it seems to be that we are. I mean, oh boy, we're closing down the players and, and giving them, making things tougher on the wing players who are crossing the ball in and, and stuff. And I think that's how Zeze was getting a lot of his goals because, I mean, I, I haven't seen it. I just saw the stat sheet. Is probably doing exactly what Harala is doing, scoring from that same position, you know, creeping in, closing in on the box if he's getting good service, you know, like like we've been getting so far. So, um, just good passing in general. I mean, this is a fantastic performance right now. Um, in case I didn't, I probably, I know I didn't say this, and I apologize. No, FC Hockey is at the top of the table right now. They are at, they are sitting at nine points, and this should be their first drop points of the season if we manage to hold on and at least secure a draw. So, not not a bad not a bad performance and stuff for us. I mean, like I said, you know, you got to take care of your business and winning a game, you know, in the early season and taking three points away from who will probably be our biggest competition for winning the 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 division for for winning promotion. So, not oh, I thought we had a third one there, Hagblom. And that's something too. I don't know if you noticed. I didn't say anything about it, but um, you know, right down here, you know, he was telling me he's you know, King Hogblum is is being played out of position, which is fine. You know, I, like I said, I I accepted that. Ooh, that was really close. Oh my God, Heightenen, hell of a fucking. When I mean, things like that, usually, I mean, I know ahead of time that I'm playing someone out of position. You know, and you make that sacrifice and you make that happen. So I mean, it's those are things I kind of have to be a dick, but I ignore. <laughs> But, you know, like I said, oh, Jesus, that was misjudged. Please, cl just clear it. Get it out of there. No, no, don't do anything stupid, Heighton, and like you did in the last game, and you just turned it over again. No, close him down. That is harmless, thank God. Jesus. Frightened the hell out of me right there. Thought he was going to do the same thing again did against Helsingborgs. Or HIFK, whatever you want to call it. And it, it, it's that's something too. Like I, I love the way. Oh, shoot it! Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes. All right, three goal lead. Fantastic. Um, this is fantastic. I'm super happy. Very, very happy. And that's just good, good stuff right there. Like I said, you you really see how how our not a lot of goals come from that position though. Honestly, how how our formation works. It's starting. They're starting to kind of figure out the passing schemes and where players are going to be and where you know where they're going to be I, one thing i haven't done actually yet and i probably shouldn't go do is go and change the um 
go and change our uh, our uh, practice focus. What we're practicing, we're doing in practice. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, change our focus. Um, I haven't messed with that. I think it's on. It's either on balance. I may have messed with that. It's either on balance or fitness. Usually, in the first beginning of the season, I put it on fitness for a while. You know, until you get through like preseason, and then after that, like the first month or so of of the season, I usually put it on uh, on on uh, what the hell is it called on um uh team cohesion because uh, usually you know you, you got to get players acquainted with each other and just you know general togetherness as a unit you know needs to be worked on. But we're gonna put Nermela in there for Ose, and I mean I'm almost. Almost don't even want to take anyone off, just because we've been playing so well. But probably wise to at least make some sort of some sort of a change. And that's one thing you do have to look at, you know, is is um, you know, you you have to keep that in mind. You know, upsetting the balance, putting on a different player, putting on you know, changing someone. Usually, when someone's got two goals, I let them see the game out like Harala. You know, I'll just let him have that chance for a, for a hat trick. You know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pretty lenient when it comes to that. I mean, it's just it's just one of those things where I go ahead and take your chance, you know. Not I'm not that much of a stickler about you know being, you know, buying into the team concept unless obviously you know I need that person for you know uh, uh, upcoming like Champions League match or something like that. That's super important. And then I'll consider you know taking them off. But even then, it's usually you know I just gotta you know. And just got to write them out. Um, and also, uh, I, was, I mentioned this in the build-up to the match before before we started it. Um, uh, there's a huge shortage I've noticed in this game in quality central defenders. Um, just in general, I actually just went through because I was looking. I was looking for just good central defenders for my Galway file, and it's just so hard to find because I was just looking for upgrades because I don't, you know, I don't have a full unit that I want, full four players that I completely trust. You know, and and it's just it's just it's hard. And and looking at this, I mean, just looking at the number of central defenders that we have on the squad, I mean, we don't have very many. And of the ones that are good, I mean, we maybe got four or five in the first team, and the ones that are good, we've only got two. You know, I mean, you don't really have any quality backups. And in my honest opinion, you need at least three quality players, three qual you know, starting eleven quality players for every position. However, there is an absolutely giant influx of, um, of whatever you want to call them, of, uh, of, of attacking midfielders. Um, I don't know if that's because if the game is smart enough to, oh, you let him have way too much room and it's a good thing he missed. I don't know if it's because of, um, of my formation that it just kind of spawns more attacking midfielders or maybe there's just I mean I understand there's more positions than there are central defenders but I mean it's it's a huge huge difference in the number of central defenders and and quality central defenders than there are attacking midfielders I mean there's a zillion attacking midfielders out there and my god is it ridiculously annoying because you're looking for quality defense you know to build your, your, your club around and, and it's hard to find them um, like I said, I don't know if the game, you know, oh, is smart enough to to spawn players that I, you know, that you need in your your formation. But even so, I still feel like the number that of of central defenders that are spawned are are too few. Honestly, and it it really feels like there's only a handful of them out there. And in fact, I was looking, I was using the um, the real time editor, um, and looking at the. Uh, the the uh, I was just ordering the players by potential, and I was looking at that, and honestly, like all the players that have you know that have really high potential, I mean, there's very very few, like I said, like world class defenders, and very very few, and it's I mean I know that's kind of the way that the state of football as it is right now, but it's still it's still a bit much. Like in the ten years that I've played the game, you know, or on um, ten years that I've played that file, there's there's no no more. It hasn't really spawned any. It's kind of like, whoa, dude, can we at least get a few? But anyhow, that's a performance to be very, 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 very pleased with. I mean, that's that's fantastic. That I might vault us up to the first place. We'll take a look here in a second. Yep, it did. It put us first place. We have eight goals for, four against. Better goal differential than 
FC Hakka, and we are now level on points with them. So is HIFK. Hifka is what I'm going to call them. Helsing Boars. Or Helsing Fours. Sorry, Helsing Boars. I don't know why I was going with Helsing Boars. Helsing Fours. But anyhow, yeah, Helsing Fours is not bad. I mean, it, the, that could be something, too. They, it could be the other, you know, that third team that's going to give, you know, the, the, the championship, the league championship a run for the finish versus division, you know. Or I can give everyone a good run for that as well. It could be a three-team race before it's all said and done. You just don't know it yet, you know. Um, but like I said, FC Haka was the one that I was looking at. That would probably be our toughest opposition. But, you know, here we are with a 3-0 win. That's fantastic. I'm so excited. Oh, that's just wonderful. Although chances are we'll probably just have, like, a terrible, terrible hangover in the next game and just bomb the fuck out. But, hey, it is what it is. Anyhow, um, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.